Ever since I was little, I've always had a very vivid imagination. I used to imagine finding or seeing all kinds of special magical things like fairies or treasure or secret hideaways out in nature. And these images would always stick with me. I've always had a very strong memory for imagery. Even from my dreams, I've always had very vivid dreams and I can remember what I saw in my dreams. So sometimes I even have some memories from childhood that I'm, I'm not even sure if it was real, like something I daydreamed or something that I dream dreamed. One that comes to mind is, I think it was New Year's Eve one year and one of my parents was carrying me to bed and I remember seeing like this dish we had on a table uh, and in like I could see that it had some sort of special glittery trinket in it and I'm not sure if I dreamed that or if I just imagined it but that's something that I have a very clear memory of and one very specific memory that's stuck with me for a very long time is this image of a golden castle in the sky. I remember I was in kindergarten and my mom was driving me to school one day and the way that my elementary school parking lot was arranged was you kind of had to do a reverse U-turn into the parking lot and so when you when you turned the corner, you were going in one direction and then you were going in the other direction. When, and when you turned the corner, there were these trees and they were facing the east. So in the morning, you could see the sun shining through. And this one morning, I just very vividly remember seeing we turned the corner and the way that the sun was shining through the trees, it, it looked like there was this golden castle up in the sky that was backlit by the sun and that's just an image that has stuck with me ever since then for the past you know 15 16 years at this point and as I got older and I just kept remembering the vision of this castle and, you know, as I got into art and drawing and painting, I've, I've always wanted to paint this image, this memory that I have, this either daydream or just this dream that I had. And finally, after getting into oil painting a little bit, I finally did that. Now, obviously, this painting is not an exact replica of what I saw that morning. I might try to paint it again as my skills improve, but at this point it captures the idea well enough and I'm pretty satisfied with how it's turned out. I've got it hanging up on my wall right now. I actually painted this about two years ago. Um, I finished it in the summer of 2020 and it's taken me until now to actually record the voiceover for this video. So, hi, hello. Um, I I want to start doing this again. I think that the hardest thing for me in these YouTube videos is recording the voiceover, mostly just because it's hard for me to figure out what to talk about for, you know, 10, 15, 20 minutes at a time. That's not my strong suit <laughs> coming up with with topics, but I suppose at this point I'll, I could just ramble a little bit. So hello, uh, if this is your first time seeing one of my videos, hi, I'm Arden. I make art sometimes. I've been trying to do that more often. Um, yeah. Uh, I am currently recovering from COVID. I did get, I did get it. <laughs> um, I got exposed at my work which is unfortunate, but we're getting through. Luckily, my symptoms and my wife's symptoms were both very mild. Um, unfortunately, we both got it, and that did affect our summers a whole bunch because my wife was going to get surgery in about 13 days from the time that I'm recording this. 
and uh, you can't get surgery within seven weeks of having COVID uh, because there are all kinds of co complications that can happen. So that's not happening. <laughs> but, you know, we're, we're doing our best. Um, the surgery was rescheduled to the end of the summer. So that is going to happen and that's good. But for now, um, yeah, just keep feeling a little bit better every day. Just getting through. Um, how is how is everybody else doing? How are you doing? You watching this? I would love to know. So in the two years since I've painted this, we've actually moved. We bought a house, and that's been really great. Uh, this this painting was actually the last thing that I painted in our old place. Was it? Yeah, I think it was. It was the last thing that I painted in our old place. I actually, um, since painting this, I did do a companion piece that's sort of a continuation of the scene, just a little bit to the right. Uh, and it's m more of a like sunrisey feel rather than just golden. It's lots of lots of pinks and purples. I guess sunrise or sunset. I'm not sure. It could be either one. Um, the the companion piece is much more clouds. It doesn't have that solid structure of the castle in the middle. It's just a field of clouds. And if you look very very closely on one of the clouds, there is a small figure perched on it. Uh, and that was just a fun little detail I wanted to add. I've been really into clouds. I almost said I've been really into clouds lately, but that's a lie. I've been into clouds for a while. I actually just got an idea earlier today for a whole series of paintings that I'm calling Cloud Maidens. And it, it's basically just a bunch of women made out of clouds in various poses or living in the clouds or something. I don't know. I sketched out some thumbnails earlier today and I'll see if any of those actually come to fruition. I think they will. No, oh, I'm, I'm <laughs> trying to set myself up for some success here. So they will come to fruition. I'm going to paint those cloud maidens. And... Yeah. Someday I might repaint my golden castle, try and make it look a little bit more like the way that it looks in my head. I think having such a vivid imagination, such a vivid imagery in my head might actually be a bit of a detriment to, to making art. Because as much as I can imagine and picture these, like, vivid, detailed images in my head, it's really hard to translate that onto the page or the canvas or wherever in a way that I'm satisfied with. It makes it really difficult. And I, I suppose it, if I did lean a little bit more on references if I did look up references more that could help me but I always feel like well I can see it so clearly in my head why would I look for a reference that's not going to be exactly like the way that I see it if I can just draw it but again there's that disconnect between my brain and my hand it's almost the opposite uh problem of aphantasia I think it's called aphantasia where like you can't picture things in your head. I have like the opposite of that where I can picture things extremely well in my head and it does become a problem because I don't I don't often think to look for references. It's just sort of a you know, I can see it in my head. Let's draw it. But then it often doesn't come out the way I want and I get frustrated and then I don't draw for like a month. So that's that's something to work on, I suppose. I have been trying to 
make more use of references recently in my art. I actually have another watercolor painting that I did much more recently um, that I did film the process of that. So that's probably going to be in my next video here. And I did look up some references for that one and I'm really happy with how it turned out. It, it turned out really well. So yeah, I'll be proud to show that. But for now, I made the mistake of not having the video up while I'm recording this voiceover. So I don't really know where we are or what I'm commenting on. But we're, we're just, we're, we're going to do it. Um, <laughs> I've been trying to give myself a lot more grace with when it comes to perfectionism, because that is something that I struggle with. I want things to be perfect and like all well thought out and planned and polished. And I just need to let that go because if I try and hold myself to that standard, I'm never going to make anything. And that's not what I want in life. I want to make things. I want to put things out. And sometimes I just have to get over myself and put out something that's maybe slightly lower quality than I might ideally want in order to just have something. You know, it doesn't need to be perfect. It just needs to be done. <laughs> and I think that that's a philosophy that I really need in my life. And that's, that's kind of how I approached this painting was it doesn't need to be perfect. It just needs to be done because again, this was an image that I held in my head for about 15 years before I actually put it down on the canvas. I suppose 13 years actually. No, yeah. 12, 14 years. It doesn't matter. <laughs> it was a long time. I I had this image in my head for a really long time and I had been wanting to put it down on canvas for years and years and years. And I just never felt like my skills were there to put it down on the canvas in a way that I was satisfied with. And again, it's still not perfect. It's not a perfect rendering of the thing that I see in my head, but I think that it's the best that I could do with my skills at the time. And I might try again, maybe soon, maybe soon I'll try again. I have this problem where I tend to hoard canvases. I have a whole huge stack of canvases that are empty and unused and I keep buying them and I just need I just need to say enough I need to tell myself I'm not allowed to buy more canvases until I make some paintings I think that that's a good rule so uh hopefully that will encourage me to do a bit more painting well, yeah, in, in the time since I painted this, uh, we've moved. We have a house and we've also adopted two more cats. Um, unfortunately, one of them passed away uh, fairly soon after we adopted him. That is probably something that I'm going to want to talk about in another video because I've been wanting to paint him just sort of in memorial and we're coming up on the one year anniversary since we, he passed so that's something that I want to do uh, but yeah a lot a lot has changed since I finished this painting and here I am finally putting out the video on it yeah <laughs> I'm not really sure where to go from here uh, as far as this voiceover is concerned. So if there's any video left, I might just leave you with some nice music while we finish off the painting. And there we have it. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed at the very least either watching my painting process or listening to my voice. Or both. You can enjoy both. Um, and if you like this video, hit that little thumbs up, like, 
Um, if you're not already subscribed to my channel and you'd like to see more of this, feel free to subscribe. I'm hoping to have more content out soon. Definitely sooner than two years from now. Two plus years. No, two years. Yeah, it's been about two years since the last art video I posted. Wow. Hello. Hi. We're here. We're doing the thing. Okay, anyway, uh, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye! If you'd like to buy prints of this painting or any of my other paintings, feel free to check out my Redbubble, uh, artandrachelart.redbubble.com.